Hello everyone. In this session, we will see high level concepts of data management. Data management is a key integrator between other source systems such as ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, HCM, Human Capital Management, and any other source files, and with EPM systems. The equivalent version of data management is FDME. Financial Data Management Enterprise Edition. FDME is an on-premise version. We can build dimensions and we can load data using data management. The source systems that are supported are Oracle HCM Cloud, Oracle ERP Cloud, NetSuite and any file system. Target system options are local, cloud, data source and dimensions. We will log in to data management now and let's see how to configure source and target systems. We can access data management from the navigator. Under navigator button, click data management. It opens another window. There are two tabs, workflow and setup. In setup, we will be able to register source system and target application. Let's select source system. Under that, click add to add a source system. Enter a name for the source system and select source system type which can be Oracle HCM Cloud, Oracle ERP Cloud, NetSuite or file. Let's select file and I'm going to load actual data or you can give any generic name here. You can enter a source description. When the source system type is other than file system here you can also mention drill through url and now we will leave it empty click save a file based source system is defined now next click on the target application click add here there are four options available local cloud data source dimensions when we mention local you can select the type whether it is a planning application or a space application or any other options that are applicable to you. I am selecting the type as planning. The application under this cloud URL will be displayed here. And select that application. Click OK. Now the entry appears here. When we click cloud, you need to give the cloud instance URL so that you can connect to another cloud instance. Enter username, password and domain and it will show the applications and you will be able to push the data to other target applications it could be FCCS application or other planning applications once we add this target application details it's mandatory to click refresh metadata first then all dimensions appear here and refresh members option is required when you add members to any dimensions so let's click refresh members also. A job will be submitted for the refresh members. In the workflow tab, click process details, shows process ID, status and log details. You can also click here on the show button to see the log. Refresh members is still running and it's refreshing members for all dimensions. Now the status is successful. Refresh members for all dimensions is done now. Let's go back to setup again. Let's click on the import format. Click add and in the details section enter the name for the import format. I want to load actuals into financial queue. Enter a name for this. The source type is file. File type if you know that all fields are fixed width. Then you have to select fixed numeric data. Delimited. If the file is delimited type, you can select this. Let's select delimited numeric data. Then we can see this option multi column in next session. I am selecting delimited numeric data here. And what is the file delimiter? Whether it is comma delimiter. So select appropriate delimiter. My file type is CSV file. I am selecting comma delimiter. And let's save this. The import format is defined now. As you know already, we have three cubes in our application. One is a financials cube, workforce cube and capex cube. There are so many dimensions 
and in order to load the data into financials we need to load into specific combination for example asset class is not required as this file is used to load actual data into financials i need to select appropriate dimension so let me show you the file first we already know that financials cube has 10 dimensions here in the first column i have account dimension and in the second column i have entity dimension third column is cost center fourth column is product dimension fifth column is currency as you see here in column k i have just added the dimensions that are not available in this file those are scenario year version plan element month i will be loading one scenario at a time i will show you in the system now how to map these dimensions which are not available in the input file so this column is not required here delete this column now so this is our source file so now we have mentioned that this file is a delimited numeric data file and because we are going to load only numeric data if you want to load delimited all data types a text data type also you can select this fixed all data type multi column all data type so multi column means you will be able to load data for multiple months we are going to load data for one month so i am going to select delimited numeric data as you have seen in our file the first column is account we need to mention the field number field number one and this is account dimension column six is amount amount column six next required dimension is cost center cost center is column three let's enter three here I know that currency is in fifth column entity here in this file I am loading actual data for all entities together that's why I get an entity column also in the file and it's always not required to get the entity column in the file entity column 2 next dimension is plan element so let's enter plan element this is not in the source file I know that I will always be loading into OFS load plan element member and just enter 1. All this data is going to be loaded against OFS load member and product member is also from the source file. Just select product and I know that this is column 4. Next required dimension is version, working version. So now all the fields are defined in this. Now click save. Our source file mapping is defined now. Next option in the integration setup is location. You can define all your entities in the location here by clicking add. I am going to load actual data for all entities together. I am going to give a generic entity name. It's not actually an entity from our application. Click add here. Under that enter a generic name or if you know that your entity name is 2000 you can enter that here search for an import format here select the import format we have prepared click ok system takes the currency from the input file for this particular file format we have created but even then just enter currency name here click save in this session we have seen how to define a source file system and how to define a target application and we have also created import format and location. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.